Hi, welcome to Kay Warner Studio. Thank you for joining me today. Today's video is much requested and it is, it is a review on PVA towelettes or chamois that are used uh, lately in stamping. They are manufactured of PVA which is a man-made material. It uh, does not leave lint and it is really absorbent. It is also something that doesn't scratch um, or leave a residue and it cleans up pretty good. It doesn't matter if it's stained or not, it will clean what you need it to clean. Uh, they are now being sold in small pieces by Lawn Fawn and they call theirs the chamois, S-H-A-M-M-Y. Other materials go by the French name which is chamois, C-H-A-M-O-I-S. This S-A-Y-A Yizama, and pardon me if I crucified that name, is a PVA sh uh, chamois towel that is sold for motorcycles, boats, and car washing. This is the absorber. This is sold uh, as for car washing, for boats, for other things, and lately it's been marketed for stampers through Simon Says Stamp. They have this particular model, just a different color towelette. It's aqua, and I think they also have a beige one, but it's the same thing. This was $12 Canadian on Amazon. This was $21 uh, Canadian on Amazon, but I've since been given a link by one of my viewers that it's at Canadian Tire for $18.99. And it is also at select Walmarts, and it runs from $19 to $23, depending on where you're living. And that's in both Canadian and U.S. funds. And the chamois is available at multiple places on the Lawn Fawn site, Simon Says Stamp site, and it runs from $8, $7.99 to $9.99. And I think the Canadian retailers that are selling the chamois, uh, Lawn Fawn chamois, are up to $12 and $13. So let's have a look at them. So I dried them all out so you could have a, a look to see what they look like, wet and dry. So incidentally, this is the same size as the uh, Mini Misty, if you want to have a look. It's uh, four and a half by six and a half. I measured it here shortly. And um, yeah, so this is the absorber. Lawn Fawn Chamois and the absorber have the exact same texture once they're dry. And I'm going to see if you can get a look at the texture of this. Um, so that is... Um, maybe coincidental. This is slightly different. Oh, they all they all do the same thing. Um, even though they're stained, uh, when you wet them and you use them, the stain does not transfer to your stamps. The only issue that I had with any of them, besides I found this one was too small, but maybe it's because I had larger things to choose from that, you know, I made a mental note that I wasn't as fond of this one because it gets so full of ink so quickly that you know this is almost twice the size and this is like one and three quarters the only issue I had was on uh, one of Hero Arts really big background stamps that was on wood it was deeply etched red rubber stamp and this may be that this was not wet enough and I was scrubbing too hard with it but a little a few fragments came off of the towelette and you can see where that is on here. Uh, just little marks where it came off, but it, it didn't uh, stay on and it didn't grab onto the stamp. Um, so that was the only issue with that. But that being said, $12 Canadian and I still have um, quite a few uh, squares of this left. Now this particular Lawn Fawn stamp fits in one eighth of this cloth. So as you can see, um, they're quite expensive when you buy them in small little four and a half by six and a half inch squares. But if that's what you want, that's great. Now this here is the absorber. Um, Eighteen to twenty-three dollars, depending where you get them. And there's that much of this. This is this is humongous. This has one, two, three, four, five, nine more squares left. This size. Uh, for $21. So, um, this is still wet in the container. None of them smell. There's no odor, whether wet or dry. 
even though it's stored in a damp container there's a lot of condensation in here and there's no um, smell there's no transfer of the stains uh, they clean up wonderfully and you have enough of this that I'm sure this will last you a lifetime and there is the the name the absorber and this is what is on this one this was sold motorcycles and boats and cars so if you search that in Amazon you should be able to find it and it's probably cheaper um, on the US site and this comes with its own little bag this was there's mildew that's started to form on the corner of this bag but none of it transferred inside because the paper is in its own little section um, which you can't get at by the way so that's kinda good but the um, so it must have been the kind of the heat from inside of here so let's have a look we're going to wet this chamois so you can see that the overall size doesn't change regardless if it's wet or dry so we'll squeeze that out so here it is this is wet I will get my ruler here so I can show you that it doesn't grow much when it's wet it's not like one of those toys so we're at six and the five eighths and uh, four and three quarters so it grew a little bit, not much. So that's that, and there's the insignia of the lawn fawn on the corner there. And then we have this other one. It's uh, this is close to the color of uh, the absorber that's being offered at lawn fawn. And this one here comes, you know, nice and pliable. Um, they really transform when you give them a little bit of water and then we are going to wet this little puppy and you can stick him right in the whole thing and squish them and nice pliable but look at the size of this when you can tear it to to this one it's half so you're dealing with, well not quite half but um, you know you really do have a lot more when you're trying to uh, clean your stamps so, um, yeah, see, that's just, well, there's nine other squares like this remaining for not really not that much money when you stop to think how much you're paying for scrubbers and stamp cleaner sprays and even comparable chamois. So I wanted to get an ink here and a stamp so that um, this is VersaFine, nice dark pigment ink, so we, sh we should be able to pick up something and clean that relatively simply. So this is uh, Hero Arts Birch Stamp. I'm just going to ink part of this up. And you can see how nice and dark it is. The ink. Okay. I'm going to close that. And then we'll take this chamois here. This is the Lawn Fawn chamois. So it cleaned it uh, off the stamp okay. Um, add some more dirt to the stamp and you can see you really don't have that much space when it comes time to do it because it gets all over you. So that's that one and I'm just going to lay a towel on this to wipe up some of this water and then I'm going to show you the back of it so the little bit that it left and then we're going to try this again with the boating motorcycle cloth and there we go This is the S A Y A chamois. And this is what we're left with. This is how well that worked. So here we have the two of them. 
And then I'll find another clean spot on here. There's a little bit of red on here, but that's not from here. I'm going to wipe this down. I could have done this a little better if I, uh, that's a little bit of residue, um, had uh, maybe used a different ink, but we're going to do them all the same. So it's all apples and apples. And that's all covered. Okay, we'll put that away, and now we have the absorber. I think that really the absorber is quite the deal when you consider how much you have left, as is the uh, the other aqua colored one that's from Amazon. You can see it fills it up. You got lots of room to turn it over. here we get this now you can see the less water on the stamp and let's give this a scrub and see what we get here and less transfer so if you want to go by the visual test and here they are with the black on them front and back here is this one front and back and then your chamois from Lawn Fawn, front and back. So, I guess the decision is yours to make which one you think you would like to purchase, and which one you think has the, the best buy for the bang for your buck, because really in all of it that's what we're looking for, products that we can um, use and feel as though we're getting our money's worth. So thank you so much for joining me today and taking time out of your day to spend it with me. Bye-bye.